Do spine stretches work for scoliosis? When patients have scoliosis, unfortunately, they can experience lots of different types of tightness and stiffnesses in their spine, which leads to common questions from patients is, is there a specific stretch or something I can do that would work to help me with my scoliosis? And this is a very mixed question because when we look at scoliosis, we know scoliosis is a structural condition, meaning it's affecting the physical structure of the spine. And the structure is actually causing this curvature to occur. And the curvature normally is more than just postural the way they're standing. So therefore stretching alone doesn't have a corrective impact or potential on the structure of the spine. So therefore, it doesn't have a corrective potential if your goal of stretching is to actually reduce the curve. However, if your goal of stretching is to actually try to improve some flexibility to help reduce muscle pain and help Im improve what you're feeling, well then some stretching can definitely have some ability to help or work in those areas. But in terms of working, in terms of reducing the curve, I don't believe stretching alone has that ability because of the, what the structural components that are associated with scoliosis. However, when it comes to scoliosis, patients can, help, can lose their flexibility of their spine because something that we call spinal rigidity. As curves become larger and they become bigger, they actually become very, the spine becomes more rigid. And it becomes more rigid because muscles are contracting to try to prevent the curve from progressing more. It's kind of an innate reaction. In addition, as the spine becomes more displaced, you have asymmetrical loads on the spine. So therefore, certain muscles have to work harder than others. And then some are being stretched out on the outside of the curve and the ones inside the curve are getting tightened. So therefore, the body's trying to decrease the contraction of those areas. So you get this asymmetrical um, development that occurs and this leads to spinal rigidity. And it makes sense that the more flexible you can make your spine, therefore the, the better you would feel and the more abilities that you have to be able to reduce your curve. So therefore it creates this flexibility, this, this rigidity components that the body actually trying to protect the spine. However, this doesn't make you feel great. You feel like you're stiff, so therefore you want to stretch it. But sometimes the way the muscles are contracting are actually trying to create more spinal support, and this support is trying to prevent your progression. So always just loosening whatever you feel is tight is not always the best approach when it comes to scoliosis. So what stretches are best? Well, when it comes to looking at scoliosis, the best stretches are ones that are pre prescribed by somebody who understands your scoliosis, your curve type, and wants to stretch the ones that are physically tight, and not the ones that are co contracting to try to support your pro stop your progression, and then actually strengthen the ones that have weakened. And therefore, that goes can only be done under direction of a specific scoliosis specialist that understands your specific type of scoliosis and knows what movement patterns you'll have to do in order to achieve the best results for your stretches or your exercises. And understand there's going to be the best ones, well then which ones will be the worst? Well the worst stretches that are ones that work the spine asymmetrically that actually worsen the curve. Most scoliosis patients have to work asymmetrically when it comes to their stretching, but they have to stretch in the right way, in the right direction for their curve type. And the only way to know is to be actually be evaluated to determine which one actually, which stretches actually work for your curve type. The problem is if you stretch asymmetrically and you're stretching it the wrong way, you can actually help your curve unfortunately progress or actually get worse. Stretches that actually strain the spine um, can actually be affected that way as well. And if you ever did anything that was compressive to the spine, that would also not be good for the spine. So asymmetrical stretches that actually worsen the spine, stretches that actually strain the spine or compressive forces on the spine are the things that we believe could have the most or the most negative effect on scoliosis. When it comes to pain, we look at scoliosis, we're looking at ways, ways to improve flexibility, meaning if we can improve the flexibility of, that, of the spine, typically we can decrease pain because we can counteract stiff, stiffness and soreness in people's muscles. But understand, a lot of times the stiffness and the soreness may not be a bad thing, that the body's actually creating those areas, trying to make those areas tighter to try to stop progression. And this is where a lot of patients or a lot of even therapists who don't understand scoliosis specifically is that we know a scoliosis patient cannot have symmetrical muscle tightness if you have a curve that goes through your spine. So is because if they had complete symmetry with a curved spine, to mean complete symmetry and muscle tone, they wouldn't be able to stand properly. The body's contracting and relaxing certain muscles innately to create 
balance or lift so the person can actually stand. If you have a car that's heavier on one side and lighter on the other side, or it was built with a tilt in it, you wouldn't have the same uh, strength shocks on each side. You would make ones that have more weight stronger and ones that had less weight weaker. That is what your body is doing innately through its nerve system. So just artificially trying to create symmetry could lead sometimes to a negative outcome. So therefore, you only want to do things that you know for sure are delivering a positive outcome to your curve type based upon what what, what, what's proven to work in your specific curve type but under the guide of a, a professional who understands your curve. So when it comes to general scoliosis stretches, are there things that you can do to help improve your pain by stretching your hamstrings or, or your low back? Yes, I mean, those things will help. However, to get something that's very specific to help work for your scoliosis, it has to be prescribed um, by a specialist who understands scoliosis-specific exercises. And normally, these scoliosis exercises or scoliosis stretches can only help augment treatment, meaning they're not going to have a corrective effect by themselves. They have to be complemented normally with very good therapy, with rehabilitation, normally with sometimes also with corrective bracing. And these things are done together with stretching and exercises to actually deliver a reduction in the patient's scoliosis. So if you're considering doing some specific stretches for your spine, I recommend you consult a professional and always consult a professional who understands scoliosis specifically and can provide you a scoliosis specific exercises for your curve type so you can get the best outcome of whatever type of stretch that you choose to do. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you'd like to hear about other topics and information on scoliosis, type in the comments below and let us know. And finally, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish content. Thanks.